My dad was born in Mitchell County over in, in uh, what they call uh, Little Rock Creek. That's uh, just across the mountain from where, where I was born, you know. He moved over to Rowan Creek and, uh, and met my mother over there, and uh, they was married. He was probably 18 when he got married. And uh, that's my dad here and, uh, and uh, my mother and my older sister. This is uh, my dad's sister over here, Laura King. This is Clifford King, her husband, and uh, their uh, their daughter. And this guy in the middle is uh, uh, he's uh, Wilson Hughes. I'm 80 years old now, so that's been a long time. Oh, boy. 
Tune, one in title, walking in the parlor. Part of it's called Grace Ridge Ball, and I was raised right down under it on the other side. Well, I started off playing with uh, with a Cantrell boy, two guitars. We sang and played two guitars. Started playing that way. I ordered me a guitar. I didn't have one. I ordered one from Spiegel, mail order company. Paid twelve dollars for it. Paid a dollar down, a dollar a month till I got it paid for. That was a that was a good guitar talk back then. <laughs> that uh, picture was took on my granddaddy's front porch uh, over here at uh, Little Rock Creek in Glen Eyre, they call it, in Mitchell County. And I don't know how in the world he got all of these fiddlers together at one time at his house. 
It was all the old, the old fiddlers back in the 20s uh, uh, was, was in this picture. And then uh, the old man down here, my granddad, with a black mustache, that's weight sledding. Anytime you want to hear music, just go to the house and they play. <laughs> you get them started playing and they go on out just about. I learned a lot of, a lot of tunes from my grandfather, and I learned some from Steve Ledford, uh, was my uncle. And, uh, Steve and uh, the family went to New York and made some records uh, for Columbia at that time. Two more of my uncles played, Taff Ledford and, uh, and Will Ledford. Wayne Ledford played. They, the whole Ledford family, the, the girls and all, was, was, they sang and played music. I'd walk across the mountain over there and, uh, and spend the weekend, you know, playing, trying to learn what I could to fiddle. <laughs> Old uh, fiddling author Smith used to come up there and I'd go over there and try to learn a few tunes off of him, you know. Uh, one tune especially, uh, my granddad, uh, my granddad, he wrote this tune uh, and uh, Arthur Smith took it and uh, recorded it, and that's the only recording they was of it, you know, uh, that uh, Sugar Tree Stomp. Arthur recorded it. I think he put his name on it as writer, I don't know. But, uh, that was okay, it got recorded. <laughs> Here's an old tune I learned from my granddaddy, one entitled Sugar Tree Stomp.
here's an old tune that uh, I like pretty good. I learned from my Uncle Steve Ledford. And the one entitled Booger Man. for this tune so uh, some guy was over at uh, Finland School, Finland Handcraft School and found a tombstone over there with, with, a, with a lady's name on it, Margaret Randolph Waltz. So that's where I got the name for this tune, Margaret Randolph Waltz.
This is my old stomping ground. <laughs> call it, the only call it old stomping ground. Off down in down there. That's uh, Tennessee off down there, get so far down there. Maybe it's Tennessee right here. Anyway, this guy from down home, he come up here and, and put him up still down there, in this little branch down there. And he made a couple of runs of whiskey. <laughs> Up here, that cold, that cold water, that guy cooled it off, you know, condensed it. He's, uh, had a big old steel. He's about 60 gallon job. I think he must have been in with the law or something, you know. Good old rye whiskey. <laughs> called Jonesboro. Thank you. 
first teamed up with Steve Ledford and, uh, and uh, Rufus Hall, and we played down in Spartanburg, South Carolina, a radio show down there for a while, and uh, we broke up, and then uh, Steve and I, we, uh, we went to Iceville and teamed up with Panhandle Pete. We played uh, a radio show over there at 6 o'clock in the morning, from 6 till, till 6.30. And uh, that's pretty hard in the wintertime. After that, why, Wade Maynard, he come by and uh, he wanted me to go with him. So I played the guitar, I was playing the guitar then, and had me a good Martin guitar then. So I teamed up to Wade and played with him for, oh, I guess, a year, kind of something like that. Then, then I joined the Toll River Valley Boys and we made some records and uh, played a lot of show dates around. And, uh, dances, square dances, we played square dances. After I quit the Toll River Boys, uh, uh, I had a, a group of my own. Uh, uh, there's two uh, two girls and uh, another boy and, uh, and his wife and uh, the McMahon sisters. We played a while on uh, WTOE in Spruce Pine, North Carolina. Then I, I wrote a song or two and we went down to, to uh, Athens, Georgia and recorded uh, a couple of songs down there on a little 45 record, and, uh, and uh, I used uh, the White Sisters. They was real good too. I used them on the record. And, uh, now it's got the word of music as a hobby to me. <laughs> I see that I wasn't gonna get rich, and I just quit, you know, quit doing it for, for the money. I'd heard of Bruce Green, this couple from England, they come over there once a year to see me and uh, they asked me if I knew Bruce Green and I said no, I had never heard of him. And they said, you live right close to him. And I said, well, maybe I'll run across him one of these days. And I was playing there on the on that craft show at Spruce Pine and Bruce, he walked up and introduced himself to me. So that's how come I, how come I, I know Bruce Green. and. Uh, I reckon he got me hooked up with Rob, Rob Levine, and uh, Rob's a good fella and a good guitar picker too. Good mandolin player, but he hardly ever plays the mandolin. This tune is named Dry and Dusty, and I run the, the, D, the G string down to a D to make it harmonize there. Okay, fellas.
This tune is called Bonaparte Retreat. True song, the girl I love don't pay me no mind. Bruce, hold 
about uh, let's do a little bit of that big eyed rabbit? What do you All say? All right then. <laughs> tools like they've got today. He had a little old planer, you know, a little old plane, hand plane and uh, and uh, some chisels and a knife and and that's about it, you know. He carved it out. And this is the same banjo but it's on the picture of the old fiddlers uh, on my granddaddy my granddaddy's <laughs> front porch. My dad had it playing it that day. After I got up any size I said, now that's my banjo. <laughs> so he gave it to me. Uh, the original head, I believe, was uh, was a cat hide. I think maybe he got an old tom cat and skinned it and made a hide out of it. I believe that was the original head on it. And later on, uh, uh, I think it was him put the groundhog head on it. And I'm going to ask Bruce if he'll, if he'll pick this banjo a little bit. You think you can pick a claw hammer banjo like that? Mm, I'll try it.
Okay, we'll do a little bit of uh, Pretty Little Widow, okay? Okay. Okay, we've got another tune here. It's, uh, we call it Slow Buck. And the reason we call it Slow Buck, there's a dance, a buck dance that they do, you know, and it's slow. Uh, kind of a slow dance, you know, but it's buck dancing. And that's the title of this tune, Slow Buck. <laughs> Thank you. 
It has not been easy to be a fiddler's wife. And you here they dress up and they go off to play. And you have two children and you have to stay at home. And then they come back and tell you what a grand time they've had. Well, you think, heck far. What are you doing this to me for? I'm not having a great time. Well, now you knew that I liked to play the fiddle even before we were married. Well, it has its advantages and its disadvantages. At first, you get to meet a lot of people, and you go a lot of places. But otherwise, I tell you, it's been a good life. And we've had a lot of happiness together, and a lot of ups and downs. We ain't had a fight. Though. And we never fight, seldom. We had a lot of quarrels, you know, real, real quarrels, but we ain't had no real knock-down fight. <laughs> What they call knock down drag out? We're 50. on her. We're on her 50th. 55th honeymoon. <laughs> What's last month? 55th honeymoon. <laughs> I told the daffodil, told the whippoorwill, just how pretty you smiled. Yes, I told them all about you. I told each little bird every single word that you said was worthwhile. Yes, I told them all about you. I told the moon to never let it start to shine above. How you roll your eyes and how you could love. Each little honeybee says it's going to be honeymoon for two. Yes, I told them. walking to the park one day and and uh, she said uh, that'd be a good name for your for your tune on it walking in the park and I said yeah so that's what I called it walking in the park
This tune I learned from Fiddling Arthur Smith. I loved old Fiddling Arthur Smith fiddling awful good, so I kind of copied it a little bit after him. Don't play it exactly like him, but it's pretty well, uh, pretty well like that. Put the kettle on. Thank you. 